A good audio edit and SFX is what makes a perfect edit, but doing that seamlessly, however, is not so easy. So today, I'm gonna show you two ways on how to do that and transform your edits into something like this. I'll also reveal one secret trick to enhance your edits by 40% to those who stick around the video until the end. On the first part, I'll teach you how to make an edit audio from scrap. Make sure you finished your edit before starting this video. I selected a mold-up edit and did the audio from scrap. Firstly, just pre-compose the audio layer, Ctrl Shift C, because we will be applying many cuts throughout the making process. The first effect I'll be teaching you is how to make a subtle and fast-paced fade-in. For that, add bass and treble on the audio layer and animate it from like negative 100 to 0 in both the parameters. It gives you kind of a morphed effect when used together. You can also animate the audio levels for that extra boost and spike on the beat drop. Highlight them and press F9 to easy ease. Um, so this is what it currently sounds like. You need to cut the layer every time you make a new effect. It's just how it's done. Again, add a reverb effect on the layer and change the reverb time to 70, diffusion to 50, dry out to 100 and wet out to 25. The main key point to making SFX is basically just matching the vibe of the clip you made to sound effects. Now again on the other clip as you can see that there is something electric going on in the character's eye. So to match the vibe of this clip, I will add something electric. Ctrl Shift T to apply cuts and also don't forget to delete the bass and treble left in other layers as well. Firstly just copy the reverb we made earlier and paste it on the third layer. The second effect we're gonna add is bass and treble. The reason is quite the same while we added it in the beginning part. Again, add a high low pass. Animating it will give the radio like effect, you know the stuff. This is our main effect that will give the electric kind of thingy I was talking about earlier. Now, add keyframes for the main values. Change the bass and treble to negative 50. Dry out to 50 and wet out to 90. For the flange and chorus, just change the voice separation time to 3. After you change the values, copy the initial keyframes we placed at the beginning and paste it at the end. Press U to show all the keyframes, highlight them and F9 to easy E. This is what we've got so far. Now the next effect I'm gonna teach you is inspired by Oza. I hope I didn't mispronounce his name but anyway, just cut the layer and paste the reverb, Ctrl V. It's an effect that goes like normal to low and again normal. Now animate the audio level to go from 0 to negative 10 and reverse the keyframes again at the end. Highlight the keyframes and easy ease. On the clip after that, you can see that the character appears and then it again kind of goes into something like hold. So, so for that, what I like to do is, um, I just add an underground effect and the procedure is the same as how we did it in the first ever clip. Copy paste the reverb from earlier, add bass and treble and keyframe both the parameters. 2 frames forward and change both of them to negative 100. Animating the audio level however is not completely necessary. And trust me, I will remove them later. If you want to create a fade in then just copy what we did in the first ever clip but reverse the keyframes. After you're done making it, you might want to take it a step further and add some mass effects. Which is exactly what our next part is about. There is not much editing on this part, the only thing you should be focusing on is getting good quality sound effects. Sound effects should match the music and you should handpick them properly. To make it easier for you, I gave away tons of sound effects included in a pack which should be more than enough for you, for free and the link can be found in the description. I won't explain much here but what I will do is explain how to pick the right SFX for your clips and how to adjust them. Now on this clip, I choose a wish effect because it's good for beat drops and also because it kinda matches the clip. I wouldn't suggest keyframing the Waveform, but if the audio is long and your beat is fast paced, just like this, then on that case, you should keyframe it. Now, if you look at the second clip, you can see that there is a character movement. So, in this kind of movement, what I like to do is I add a cloth sound effect, which is exactly why I chose this cloth ruffle sound effect. Double press L to open up waveform and delete the unnecessary parts from the clip. Now, this is important. Try to match the spike of the layer with the beat of the audio. Hold shift and then press L to bring up the keyframe thingy and animate it. After that, Ctrl shift C to pre-compose it. Now you do not necessarily need to spam SFX and sound edits on every possible bit. Some clips just look better without SFX or edit. Don't force editing a clip that cannot be edited. Just keep it simple and clean. 
As you can see I just added bunch of SFX where it felt necessary and now I'm gonna add reverb to further enhance it. And yeah it's the same one again, just copy and paste it. After we're done with ESFX and reverb, we're gonna pre-compose it. If you follow through, then you can try this additional step to make it even better by adding some character voices. I haven't selected much cause I haven't seen the anime yet. But nevertheless just choose voiceover that feel relatable to the clip. Double press L to open up the waveform and remove the unnecessary part. Then add reverb onto the layer and change the diffusion to 75, decay to 35, brightness to 25, dry out to 100 and wet out to 25. And the one trick to enhance your edits by 40% is by simply adding